Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, in today's video, girl, we're gonna be recreating, um, y'all, I just forgot the face. Recreating um, Beetlejuice, but we're gonna do the girl version, okay? And you guys, this background, I love it right now. Let me mute this, you guys. So, um, this background, you guys, I got from Joanne's Fabric, and I'm like in love with it right now because it's like sparkling. It's at nighttime, and that's what I'm going for. Also, you guys, I'm going to be showing some promotional products from my website. Actually, my website is being worked on right now, you guys, but I do have my new collection, Eye Candy Collection. I hope you guys can see that. As you can see, these are colored lashes okay and this is green apple green apple from the eye candy collection you guys i do have some more different colors um you guys but again it's not on the website as of right now but if you are interested in purchasing these purchasing these lashes please email eyelashed out at yahoo.com information will be in the description bar below and i can go ahead and get your purchase out also you guys i'm gonna be reviewing my lash glue yeah this is black licorice it's my last lash glue so i'm going to be reviewing this today and see how this works out and it's popping also you guys i'm going to be using one of my wigs here for this look this is my girl hey girl we're going to be using her and i do make custom wigs you guys if you are interested in the custom wig the information will be in the description bar below I do have the video of where I watercolored this. This was a watercolor method, so I do have that video and I'll post that down below as well. You guys can check that out on the watercolor method. So, before we get into today's video, you guys make sure you thumbs this video up. It does put it to the top of the list so that people can watch it, other people can see it, and we can just get this channel growing and popping. Also, you guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn those post notifications on so that you can be alerted when I do post another video, okay? Because you don't want to miss out. You just don't want to miss out. And yes, I am bald headed, so don't come for me. Do not come for me. Your girl gonna put some hair on later. But anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna do voiceover for the rest of this video, you guys. So, until next time. Okay, you guys, you're gonna start off with a fresh, clean face so that you can have your canvas clean. I'm going to go in with my primer. And I use Japanese, you guys. I did get this from, I wanna say Sephora. And it is very, very smooth and silky. It's good for oily skin, you guys. My skin is oily, especially in the T-zone. So this is a very excellent primer. I do suggest that you get this if you don't have it. Um, it does save your time. It does want this for your skin, honey. It will thank you, okay? It will thank you. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm going to go ahead and get my blending um, sponge. And then you guys, I do have these available on my website as well. Um, blending sponges, I, I will have that posted on my website as soon as it's updated. And I'm just going to go in and wet this with my The Slick by Urban Decay. Um, I think it's oil control. I think it is. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Coreless Foundation. And this is not my skin tone skin color you guys i'm going in with the color 228 which is very very lighter than my skin tone as you can tell i'm going to mix this with my white paint and it is by mayron mayron's cream white paint uh, you guys i'm going to mix those two together to make kind of like a clay pasty kind of color because you know beetlejuice has like a white face and you know we're trying to make this look look as much as similar as possible so I'm gonna take my blending sponge and take that foundation and make and um cream makeup and I want to go ahead and put this all over my skin, you guys. It doesn't matter if you do do this on your eyelids. Of course, we're gonna go over everything once we finish and we're gonna make it look really, really nice and like a painted canvas. So you guys, this look is not, it is not, I repeat, it is not a perfection kind of look you guys so don't worry if you mess up or if any skin is showing through because if you do take a look at Beetlejuice's picture his picture is not perfect okay 
some of his skin is kind of like cracked up and everything so this is gonna be as grungy as possible but still adding a little glam to it so i'm just gonna let you guys keep watching until i get on to the next step everything applied all over the face we're going to go ahead and set it everything in and I'm going to use my smoke and mirrors white powder you guys it is basically white powder to set on top um, basically kind of like translucent powder pretty much but this is going to cast like a white shadow so I would suggest you use this on top of your foundation because it's not translucent like that it's, it's just strictly white powder so I'm going to take that and apply that all over my face everywhere that I put the foundation in the cream makeup and I'm going to set everything and don't worry I'm going to go back in later on and reset it because I'm going to apply more to it I just don't want this to crack as I'm working through it um, because if you have never used paint before paint dries and it starts to crack if it's not applied correctly so that's basically what I'm doing I'm setting everything and I'm going to go back in later on and reset it once I apply my um concealer and eyeshadow and you know the whole nine yards so basically what I'm going to do now you guys is I'm going to go in with my angle brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply concealer on my lid well actually this is an uh, eyeshadow primer it was a base that you can use for pretty much anything and I'm going to go ahead and carve out a place where I want to add my eyeshadow and then I'm going to go in and apply everything to the lid Now on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Smoke and Mirrors palette and also my Elf palette. And I'm going to use um, the sh all of the shades of the purple that's inside there. Um, I'm going to actually take it from my crease and I'm going to use inside the Elf palette this purple here. Well, at least I thought it was purple, but I think it showed up as blue. But you guys, I'm going to go back over it because it kind of showed up 
blue when I was looking at it, but it's like a dark, dark, dark purple. But I'm gonna use this all in my crease line, pretty much like a transition color. And then I'm gonna go back in with my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna use the purple for my base on my lid. And then I'm gonna go back in, back and forth with my e.l.f. palette, my Smoke and Mirrors palette and my BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm gonna use the purples, purple shades in there that I like pretty much to complete the look around my eyes. eyebrows and then come back to the eyeshadow once I go ahead and fill in everything else um, I'm gonna take my smoking mirrors pencil and it does have a dual side so I'm gonna use the green and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows if you have not already seen how to fill in your brows I do have a video on that I will put the information in the description bar below so you can check that out and learn how to sculpt your brows you know I'm going to use the same technique pretty much because we want to have it a natural looking brow. We don't want a cartoon looking brow or a thick brow. So once I fill it in, I'm going to go back in and clean everything up with my concealer so that it can be nice and crisp into the T, honey. Because we again, we want for a glam look, but it's still grungy. Well, you still want your eyebrows on fleek though. Like you still want the brows popping and popping, okay? You don't want the brows looking any kind of witchy way. So, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in 10 and clean everything up, you guys. And don't worry if you get it on the eyeshadow because you still can blend it out and then add the um, brow, uh, brow powder to the top of it once you finish. So, I'm going to let you guys keep watching.
are excusing my eyes do get really dry and the eyeshadow sometimes irritates my eyes so I gotta put my drops in there y'all and I just look really crazy <laughs> right now putting these drops in but girl get it together girl get it together so what we're gonna do now you guys is we're gonna go ahead and contour the face so I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow on this is actually a um, powder brush and I just actually squish it together so I can use it as a contour brush and I'm gonna contour out my cheekbones my forehead and my chest area so that I can go ahead and add the colors that I need to for this look to pop out so again I'm gonna contour everywhere I feel like it's a hollow space um, I'm using a reference picture so I'm kind of going off of what I see um, for beetle use and then I'm adding my own little spins and touches to it so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some greens and some more black to it to give it a little depth and then I'll be back you guys to add my little extra pieces on there you know like I was just jamming honey I was jamming shout out to Queen Daja for her her song pack light it goes so hard and that's what I was listening to you guys so I was feeling myself for a little minute also I was checking the lighting to make sure everything was all to the good okay okay Okay, you guys, I did go ahead and apply some of it off camera. You guys, as you can see, I do have one of my lashes on and a green sequencing for my mask. So what I'm going to do is take my lash from my, uh, my eye candy line on my lash line. And I'm going to apply that to where I'm missing the, <laughs> the eyebrow eyelash. And I'm going to use my lash glue. This is black licorice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that to apply my lash. And you just want to take it take the applicator and apply it to the edge of the lash and I have a clear band on these or some of mine do have a black band so I do have clear and I have white so I have snow candy white and I have dreamsicle lash glue so you can choose whichever one that you want pretty much I like the black because it just holds better to me but some people like clear and then some people like um, the white and I'm going to show you dual ways to use the lash glue, you guys. So I'll show you how I add my sequencing on after I apply my lash. 
oh you guys i forgot to let you know so if you if you are interested in how you apply false lashes i do have a video on that where i apply my false lashes i will place the information in the description bar below so you can check that video out maybe you need some help on putting them on maybe you don't but there is several different ways to apply false lashes you just want to make sure that it does touch the base of your eyelid so that you don't have any spaces or gaps and you pretty much figure out how you want to actually position them and lay them down your way you, you know you can watch many videos but it's all gonna be how you feel comfortable with applying it i like to use tweezers still even though i've been putting these on for a while only because the tweezers help me out more precisely than just like putting them on some people can just put them on with their hands but girl i rather use the tweezers Okay, you guys, now time to show you how I want to apply my sequences. And I did get this from the dollar store. I did not break the bank. You guys are here. I'm going to use Dream Sickle, which is my lash glue. And I'm going to use this to apply the sequencing, you guys. I was going to use Spirit Gum, but Spirit Gum is actually very, very stronger than lash glue. And I was just going to pop these right off. And plus, I want to keep all of my hair attached to my body. So I'm just going to take a thin layer of lash glue. And I'm going to apply that all over the green spaces where I have my fake mom and I'm gonna apply the sequences and you guys you gotta work fast with this um, lash glue because it dries really fast and so once you feel it getting tacky you only have like a couple more seconds before it actually starts to dry up completely and you're gonna see me here you guys I had already been applying them so glue was still on my fingers so it was kind of hard for these to stick on it kept sticking to my fingers but I got the job done, you know. I, I still got the job done regardless if it was sticking to my fingers or not, you guys. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish applying the sequences for my mom. And then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Mm -hmm. 